how's it going guys today i have the e55 amg out here in the beautiful town of pickering here in ontario and i wanted to do a quick walk around of the e55 um i did a video the other day on sort of how i got it how we got here um i'm gonna link that video in the description so i'm just gonna do a quick walk around tell you about all of the issues it has maybe all of the issues that have been fixed but yeah, my name is MJ. Thank you for tuning in. Let's dive in. Quick, we're just going to jump into it. A lot of you know that I got the 55 AMG for fairly, fairly cheap. And cheap cars always come with issues. With this, quite a significant amount of issues. Um, like you can see the bumper that is leaning off there. It's not aligned properly. This is a rebuilt title car. It was, in fact, in an accident in the past at some point in its life and the previous owner says it was in the back i do think it was in the front i didn't pull up carfax because again the price was just very worth it and i'm an idiot should have pulled a carfax but it doesn't matter we're here now we have the car so the bumper has been leaning off i did try to put a screw at the back that didn't work the air suspension on this side is very very bad probably going to do that at a later date lots of paint imperfections the back has been painted over i don't know if you guys can see it doesn't quite match the side panel over there there is some trims or some paint chips on that side the bulbs in the inside say the bulbs uh, for the plate don't work that tail light bulb is broken uh, more paint issues here and the fade i don't know that needs to be touched up somehow but it's fade maybe a clay bar um, on the entire car and polish will do it just fine and probably ceramic coated let me know in the comments if you want us to do that there is also some rust on this side over here that's not very good and probably some overspray from when this part of the car was worked on another reason why i think it had something to do with the front impact because this doesn't line up it comes up and goes down just fine just doesn't line up the bumper in the front is missing a lot there's a few things that are hanging down in there i don't know if you guys can see that in there it is missing the two it's missing the under bulbs or fog lamps it's called and things aren't just as they should be that doesn't line up probably because the hood doesn't line up uh the light doesn't sit in quite well there are some holes on that side it's i don't know it's just not being cared for quite a lot again just pointing to the fact that that is why it's so cheap it sat outside for about three to five years i believe there's some dings on this side um but for a car that sat outside for that long i give the paint kudos because it could be a lot lot worse so it's done quite well um the air suspension i've talked about that the rims are very filthy on that side the top is quite fine i didn't have any issues at least too much issues with the top in the inside apologies it's dirty I've been driving it i'm missing the amg logo over here and over there as well um of course the famous tray for the amg uh, for 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 the car but it has a hole probably a cigarette hole over there the suede on the door has completely faded i try to give that a clean over i don't know what that is but it still sits there i probably would try to shampoo it along with the carpets in front the back is back's quite okay apologies for all the stuff that is the missus bag we'll put that in front just a little bit over there but yeah the seats have started to show their age as you can see they have gotten their fair bit of use i like that the sunshade still works not that you know it means much but it's a good touch to the car um the headrests have been leaning down for the most part everything works the armrest in the back and the cup holders this is actually the first time i've ever brought that oh that's fancy i've never brought that out oh got more storage in there so i guess you push you pull that to pull that out and it comes up like that can you imagine that just german engineering at its finest just like the front cup holder, everything has been over-engineered to a T. Um, but yes, it's just basic back here with the curtain at the back, so nothing fancy overall. It does have a massive, massive boot, this car. I'll pop it open and show you guys real quick here. 
if you're looking to get something to stick some someone or dead bodies or something in there, it's it's gonna hold quite a lot. But besides that, the quad tailpipes for the AMG's signature look. It's just your basic Mercedes E55 AMG. This is the new car, those are the issues. Don't know how long I'm gonna be keeping it. I've got a lot of interest for people in my circle, but that's it. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what comments you have with getting the E55 to tip top shape. Um, any history you have with the E55 would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below for now. Thank you for watching. Cheers.